Hello students, once again welcome to Bhunanath Academy. In rotational dynamics students, we are going to find the expression of the torque on a body rotating with constant angular acceleration. Now here we are talking about constant, this body is rigid body, it is rotating with constant angular acceleration. Angular acceleration. Now then how we are going to find out the torque? We are going to obtain the expression of torque of a body rotating with constant angular acceleration. Understanding students here what is given constant angular acceleration. So first of all we, students you should know what is torque. Torque acting on a body produce angular acceleration because of torque only this body will perform the angular acceleration. The body can be considered you now this body irregular body consider it is made up of nth number of particles. Now with mass now we, we are going to consider that is mass m1 m2 and it is what n number of masses situated at a distance perpendicular from R1, R2 and Rn respectively. Understand students, this is the irregular body. The mass of the body is capital M and it is rotating with constant angular acceleration alpha. Now students, this is the first particle of mass M1. It is at distance R1. Understanding students, the force which required to rotate is F1 bar. This is the mass of the second particle that is M2. It is at R2 at a distance from the axis of rotation. Now the force which is there on this mass is what f2 bar same way students n number of particles are there so this is the mass mn and it is at a distance rn and the force which act on this part particle is what fn understanding students now students the torque tau 1 bar on the particle of the mass m1 is given by tau 1 bar equals to r1 bar into f1 bar understanding students where f is nothing but students f1 sin theta here yes, theta when you see the students there is a 90 degree the so sin theta is equals to what 1 so tau 1 the torque acting on the first particle that is tau 1 equals to r1 into f1 understanding students the torque acting on the first particles is equals to that is t1 equals to r1 f1 now students the but force is in nothing but mass into acceleration the force acting acts on the first particle is nothing but mass into acceleration understanding students now this mass into acceleration is nothing but students m1 r1 alpha because linear acceleration is equals to r1 angular acceleration now what happens students students torque acting on the first particle is given by r1 into m1 r1 alpha understanding students now put the, we have put this value here so it, uh, torque acting on the first particle is given by r1 m1 r1 alpha now r1 r1 it will be r1 square m1 and this alpha that is the angular acceleration now now it means torque acting on the first particle we have got the expression that is m1 r1 square alpha m1 r1 square alpha this is the torque acting on the first particle now similarly students we can find out the torque acting on the second particle that is m2 r2 alpha similarly students we can find out the torque acting on the nth number of particle that is mn rn square alpha Yes or no? Now, students, the total torque acting on the body, we have to add the torque acting on each and every particles. That we have to add torque ag acting on the first particle, second particle, and nth number of particles. Now, put the value, students, torque acting on the first particle that is M1 R1 square alpha plus M2 R2 square alpha plus dash dash Mn Rn square alpha. Now, what happens, students? The alpha is what? Common. So, just take it out. Now, you, what is remaining m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 square plus dash dash mn rn square alpha now this is nothing but summation of mi ri this you can write also like this in summation form m1 mi ri summation of mi ri where i equals to 1 to n into alpha now this is nothing but difference moment of inertia so torque is nothing but moment of inertia into angular acceleration understanding students this is very important expression in examination they are asking to solve so many problems and if it is coming for four marks questions these are very important students if you like my video please share it subscribe it thank you thank you very much have a nice day god bless you